I'm Naomi Shah. I'm a pulmonary critical care sleep physician at Mount Sinai Icon School of Medicine in New York City. Um, we're looking at how obstructive sleep apnea before and after treatment um, affects the arterial inflammation. So that's um, the plaques that develop in the walls of the arteries. Um, so, so far we've recruited five patients that have done a sleep study before and after the advanced imaging techniques that we've utilized specifically PET MRI, uh, where we're looking at um, carotid and coronary plaques, uh, where we quantify them in terms of um, how severe they are, but also how active they are metabolically. So we inject uh, a radio tracer uh, that gets localized to the plaques, and we then assess the activity of the plaque before and after CPAP therapy. In our study, we found that using CPAP for three months reduced the plaque activity uh, by an average of 5.6 percentage. Um, so one of the things that we, we understand from this is that CPAP helps um, vascular inflammation and atherosclerosis, uh, but maybe if you're already on a statin, um, we're not sure what the added benefit of CPAP therapy would be. So that would be our next phase is to try to understand if CPAP independently reduces atherosclerosis or whether uh, statins um, will attenuate the beneficial effect of CPAP and whether that affects um, the results of the clinical trials that we've recently seen because obviously the use of statins is, is pretty um, high and it's prevalent um, so we're trying to further understand that mechanistically. So I've applied for a grant um, to be able to um, understand not only the, the, the plaque activity using a glucose tracer that only checks for inflammation but we're gonna try to use dual tracers um, before and after CPAP therapy to get at inflammation um, and microcalcification, which are two major components of what makes a plaque soft, uh, which is the vulnerable plaque, or what makes a plaque stable, which is the calcified plaque. Um, so we're hoping that if that grant gets funded, which we've submitted to the NHLBI, uh, we will be able to get some preliminary data for a larger clinical trial um, in the next year or two to be able to understand that further. What we are learning is that if you have a patient that is not sleepy and has uh, is not on a statin, using CPAP therapy uh, will influence um, the plaque activity in their carotid arteries. So for example, the risk of stroke uh, could be potentially attenuated uh, to the same level as, um, as statin therapy can do in patients that have obstructive sleep apnea. And the patients that we studied had at least moderate sleep apnea using an apnea hypopnea index uh, of 15 or more per hour. So I think that would be sort of the clinical implication is that CPAP should be used, um, especially in those that may, may not be on statins um, for lack of risk factors. So more of the healthier uh, moderate to severe sleep apnea patients.